you, you bled a fair amount where that stent is. Uh, there's a, a bit of granulation of tissue or scarring around the stent, which is okay. expected, but that can bleed a fair amount. So I just barely touched it and the thing bled on me. So that took a little bit of time to control that. Um, but we got some samples of the some lymph nodes in there and also biopsied down in the left lower where that area was. Now I didn't do any directed biopsies, I did mostly random biopsies around that area like we talked about and then a lavage fluid and that sort of thing um, to, to culture as well as send for pathology. Pathology takes generally a few days to get back. Although I rushed it, I did put a stat on it, it still will take generally at least two days to get those results. We may have something by the end of this day or tomorrow on that. Um, so far, we haven't really grown out anything from a culture standpoint yet. Um, so right now, I would just recommend we continue with some broad antibiotics and kind of follow up what the cultures are this afternoon and see if we can maybe come down on some of that. Okay, I'm on two and a half liters now. Mm -hmm. and this Better than up when here, you came in, that's right. for sure. That says, 97%. Yeah, but then if I do it on mine, mm -hmm. mine says like 90. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Time to get a new pulse ox. <laughs> uh, These little guys are they're great in a pinch, but uh, they may not be as accurate okay, as this. Okay, now this one says 94. Yeah, let's see what this one says. You gotta keep, uh, keep that hand still. There you go, hold it still. Is 96 up here. So it's running about three. A few points low. And my heart rate's eight. Also well, make sure, yeah, that looks pretty good. You see the cleft there? So yeah. nice and rhythmic. That's what you want to see. Just like that. So it's 96 up here, 93 there. So you're a few points off. Sometimes it could be a finger too. Well, yesterday, after I took those two um, breathing treatments, they put them together. Yeah. My heart rate went up to 130. You're 120 right now. So. I know, but it was down to like 105, and I guess 120 because you couldn't even do it. <laughs> I have that effect on women. <laughs> I've been waiting. Well, you're cute. But I've been waiting to get these results because I know they're negative. I know they are. And I know you probably don't Let's think so. that. Let's hope so. But I believe. Could be just, as we talked about before, it could just be infection. I'm, that's what I'm thinking it is. Let's hope that's what it is. And I'm coughing up all that yellow stuff again. And, and he said I had some kind of a yeast infection. Uh, in my sputum. Thora was supposed to be done in the procedure room just prior to walk. Sorry. Um, I, could, I can't never remember that infectious doctor's name. Maduli? Medulla? Medulla. Medulla. Yeah. He said I had some kind of a yeast infection in my sputum or my spit that he checked out. So that must be coming from my body. We Yeah, that can be just from spit and okay. actual infection. <laughs> so uh, he and I can talk about that and see what, what it all grows out to be. Okay. I'm going to take a quick listen and i got to run. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, they're coming down. You know. Take some nice deep breaths. Okay. So Dr. Abu, my, my fellow, will be by later today as well okay. uh, to see you. And then he'll and I touch base and we'll follow up on all those results and communicate with you as soon as we have some answers. Okay. okay. What, what medication? I'll be in communication with Dr. Wall. Okay. What medication did my wake up from? <laughs> well, it was probably the Versed. Yeah. Um, so should I never take that again? No, it's it's okay. It might. I mean, it's probably not a great idea to, to do that on a regular basis. Okay, <laughs> percent. It's not that it's contraindicated per se, but um, yeah, you didn't get a lot, so you are you a, you're a lightweight. A I am very you're lightweight. I should have so. told you that. Yeah. Well, I take a Tylenol and it we, we titrate out. things. You know, we titrate it. So I start off with very low dose and we'll see how things go. But you were coughing and moving around a bit, so I had to give you just a little touch more, okay. and that was a little touch too much. Because so, I, I usually one time I'll take two sleep. I even used 
a medication that's not supposed to suppress your respiratory drive, the ketamine, and it doesn't, right. uh, to avoid to avoid this. So I took even extra measures to try and avoid it. Right. You know, some issues. Okay. Um, but we just, I mean, even with just two milligrams, it was too much for me. Okay, and, and is that what happened it. there? That's probably, that's from the arterial uh, puncture, the a ABG that we did. T checking your carbon dioxide levels. Oh, okay. She's concerned that it was done on her left arm. Oh. Well, this, this isn't I, a problem. I, this is okay. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's no induration. It's not swollen. Here. Okay. It's okay. It's right. just a bruise. It's, yes. it's a very superficial yeah. bruise. Okay. So, All right. Because yeah. they told me never, never, never let anybody do anything yeah. on this one. They, they probably shouldn't have. Um, I'm not sure if they just didn't see the band or well, what the deal was. We talked was about that. it. I don't know. It's, it's I wasn't there when they did the ABG. So my fellow was there. Well, that looks okay. All right, good. I got to run there. I'm sorry. That's right. All right. We'll be in touch. We'll be in touch. All right. Maybe next time we go I couldn't understand him.